Hello, my name is Mike LaPercio. I founded Rigatoni's in 1994. I own the restaurant, my, my, myself and my partner, uh, Chrissy, owned the restaurant. One of the things that I really enjoy when someone walks in the front door of Rigatoni's, because everybody's from somewhere else, they walk in the front door and they go, ah, oh, this reminds me of you know, someplace in Chicago they've been from or someplace in New York. And, and I, I really like that. That's kind of what we're aiming for, that feeling of home. But what is also unique to us is the family atmosphere that we have with our staff. Initial reaction to the pandemic, when we realized how serious everything was, we knew we had to do some major reinvention of what, of how we did business. Immediately did a takeout window and a drive up lane. We remodeled the lobby completely. We turned our restaurant into a takeout facility and that included all kinds of hardware. As time went on, we invested in a major air purification system so that our staff and our customers uh, were safe. And uh, we've always been community oriented. Over the past 12 years, we have been very involved with Paz de Cristo Community Center, and we sponsor one night a month uh, for the, over the past 12 years serving homeless or people in need, uh, we've served somewhere around 40,000 meals over that period of time. It's worth volunteering. If anybody ever wants to volunteer, you can contact us. We've also been very involved with Tempe Community Action. It's interesting because even though we think we're pretty good at what we do, we make mistakes. Every 20th meal probably is some kind of mistake. And instead of throwing it in the garbage or having the crew nibble on it, we box it up, put it in the freezer, and then once a week, Tempe Community Action comes and picks up all these quality frozen meals. So we were able to do that. We continue to do that. I've worked in the restaurant business for 40 something years. And my staff is the, right now is the best staff that I've ever been associated with. Food is food, but to get that personal touch and that and that caring touch from service personnel is, is kind of rare these days. And, and I just couldn't be more proud of that.